Hello everybody. I found a man on the internet that's made this antenna right here. It looks like to me it could be a pretty decent antenna. Now, I doubt very many people has made this antenna from this man's video because he's not telling you how he's doing it. And this right here is as close as he got to showing you how to build it. He, he showed you the materials. How you gonna spend 25 minutes talking about how good an antenna is and all that and then and then skip over everything and then tell me, all right, here it is. I got me two wires here longer than what I need. I'm gonna straighten them and then, uh, and then I'm gonna cut it to the right length. Now, I know that some of y'all seen me do this before. But you gotta understand that these people that's watching this for the first time. Now, this is how I straighten my wire. Put it in there and turn it. Don't turn it no more than what you have to. I got my two pieces here. And what you need is a total length of uh, 56 is the magic number. And uh, I'm going to mark it and cut, it, cut both pieces. You see, I got my two pieces of wire laying side by side. And what I'm going to do is mark in seven inch increments all the way down the antenna. And this is number of uh, 10 gauge wire. Now, it'll if, if you're just making yourself one antenna, go ahead on and get eight gauge. You know, I mean, because it is better. It's, it's thicker and everything. You know, I make and sell these antennas in my town and install them and I have to use this right here to keep the cost down. Alright, this being in the wire, man it's, sim it's simpler than it looks. Uh, I don't know why the man made that video. I don't know why he made the video to start with if he wasn't going to show you how to do it. But I want you to take a look at this. You see my middle mark right there and I hope you can see this. But you see how I'm putting my needle nose pliers a little bit away from the line. I want to make my line my corner. And I'm going to hold it here with my thumb and uh being this and and what I'm doing here is I'm I'm making a square. Now I'm gonna show you this right here. You you might not have one of these things but uh you've got something with a corner a book or uh, anything like that. and this is what this is what you're doing and uh, look at that right there and then <laughs> look at that right there all right and, and now uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the next line and I'm gonna make a square back the other way And look at it. Look at what I'm doing here. All right. And now I'm gonna check that. And if it does that right there, it ain't no problem. Just take it. No. Uh, that's the good thing about messing with copper. But anyway, and we're gonna be screwing that down anyway. So, so then I'm gonna check this. And you can go ahead and do all your, all your bins and uh and then you know do a finishing touch on it at the end before i finish showing you that i want to show you this antenna right here uh, i've got a video of how to make this and this antenna right here it has went to number one in like uh I, you know i reckon three weeks and i want to show you this one right here this right here is about like a 35 or 40 mile antenna if you don't need one of these big powerful antennas uh this antenna right here was in the number one spot and that other one knocked it out but uh i got a video of how to make that and and how to make this mount it's, i got this fixed where you just screw this down to the roof and like no no matter the pitch of the roof you just uh lean this forward you know, no matter what picture your roof is, this is for people that want, don't want the big antennas. 
And here's a, a here's the ultimate antenna. This right here was my number one video for a long time, and it fell off. But uh, and which which brings me to this, y'all. My next video, I, I'm gonna do an upgrade to this ultimate antenna. <clears throat> y'all know the man's gonna be pissed whenever he sees this video. And uh. I can't hardly talk while I'm working. It didn't look like to me I was explaining it real good whenever I was doing it, so I come out here and I'm going to show you the other side. I wasn't going to do it, but I'm going to show this to you in fast motion. Get your piece looking like this right here. And then... You see, this is extra long right here, and it's gonna be bent straight. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna take you in the house and show you something. Now, see, you can tell it good on this wall, but you want this part right here. You want to make this. You want to make this right here straight, and. You know, you can look at something and tell what's straight. And, uh, you know, your bottom is the same way. Just kind of mess around with it and get, and get everything, you know, like what I showed you. Here's my piece of plastic I'm using. Now, I got my yard stick laying out here, and you see that that's 36 inches. You see that I come I come down about five inches from the top. Well, it's about five and a half is what it is. And then these marks that I got made, I got three marks here made. And I actually got down and figured this up and made sure this wasn't right. This was right. But uh, that's them lines, them three lines are ten inches apart. And you see here, I, I got it roughed up a little bit because I'm going to glue the pieces down first. And then... Uh, you, I think you'll understand why. Alright, here's my three pieces. They two and a half inches long. See how I got them roughed up to where the, where the glue will stick. Let me tell y'all something. The best rat trap was built a long time ago. And you might see all kind of fancy damn rat traps. That look good. There ain't a damn thing wrong with the old one, you know. And it's the same way about these antennas. All right, I'm going to uh, put every one of these below the line. I promise you, the antenna companies, they don't want you to know what I know, buddy. They wish the hell I'd shut up. Because these old antennas, I mean, I ain't necessarily talking about this because I ain't never tried this. But that ultimate antenna over there I got over there, I ain't seen an antenna beat it yet. And I ain't just saying it because it's mine it, or nothing like that. I, it don't even, I don't even care. If this antenna works better, I'll junk that ultimate antenna and use it and sell this kind right here it don't make no damn difference to me all right i'm fitting to get these get the lines here that's why i glued it so i could do this this these lines right here are supposed to be a 1.7 inches apart and you see that picture i just showed you that double that antenna i got the factory makes one like that and that antenna that I got will stomp a mud hole in that factory antenna. And there's a reason why it will. And I can't sit here and explain everything because it's supposed to be about about this. But the, and, and we don't know more than the factories. But we're not trying to cut the cost of the price, see. Now I'm going to go ahead and drill these right in the center.
I got three spacers here. I'm gonna put them down. And you see this right here? This is about like four inches. I don't know if I said it or not, but you can get all this stuff from the hardware store. And I want to tell y'all that I made an antenna 30 years ago. And also, I've made an antenna that'll pick up better than the ultimate antenna. I kind of keeping that to myself. And the, you know, the one I was talking about, you know, I don't know if I'm ready to give that to the Chinese yet. But it costs more to build than, than these antennas. And here's my reflector. You know, you look at that man's uh, video. He's got some aluminum or something, but it don't matter. It don't, it, uh... And I had people ask me all kind of questions. Can I use chicken wire? Yeah, you can use chicken wire. Can I use screen? Yeah, you can use screen. Anything, anything metal like that will block that signal from coming in the back. And see, I'm using real long screws here so it's going through uh, everything. Here it is, finished up. You see, I put my transformer on there. And, uh, you know, the antenna that I was telling you about that I made that'll pick up better than the ultimate antenna. The lawyer, he, he seen a clip of that. He told me not to even let nobody see a picture of it. All right, I'm out here on the church land. I'm like a quarter of a mile from my house. Uh, this is our church land. And uh got the laptop out here. There's the antenna. And that away right there. 60 miles from here is Macon, Georgia. Now, I got this uh, thing set up. All right, everybody. It's been about to kill me sitting out here waiting for the light to go down. I've deleted all the channels. Okay, now we're searching for the channels. Man, I didn't finish the video. I was just going through the channels, telling y'all stuff, and uh, and the damn wasn't even showing the signal meter. But uh, this antenna right here is doing good. It's right there with the ultimate antenna, I mean, and it's easier to build. You ain't got to do no soldering on this thing. But uh, I'm flipping through the channels. It got every channel, and we ain't like y'all can get 550 channels. Uh, all we have is about 20 channels, and it's getting every one of them. Now, I've actually done went all through this thing, and uh, it's it's... It's getting them all good. I, and I'm, I'm going to show you one last thing here. All right, watch this right here now. Uh, you can see the signal meter there. See this tape on here? Watch me turn this antenna. Watch the signal meter. All right, watch me turn it back. All right, watch I'm going to turn it again. There you go, y'all.